Welcome reefers, this is Acro Breeder and this is my update for September 2021. Forgive me for my absence for the last three months. I've been enjoying summer here in South Florida, enjoying the beach, uh, spending some time boating on, on the water, enjoying nature. So this is my 40 gallon breeder. It's in a new location in my fish room with a temporary light setup. I plan on holding this tank here for maybe another year to 18 months as I'm going to combine all my systems into one large system. My 80 shallow reef tank full of frags, everything is growing nicely, colors are doing very well. All the inhabitants are happy. I did acquire a new uh, Maxima clam, 29 gallon. Uh, fish quarantine system a few new residents in here Nothing worth mentioning. Uh, I guess I did add a prime on here the LED fixture kind of designed for fresh water systems that came with it Didn't last so I had an extra prime laying around putting it to use uh, There's a few fry in here from the Molly's breeding Let's See if I can find them. Oh is that one? No, it's a spot. Anyhow, you're just going to have to take my word for it. There's a few fry in here somewhere. And then this is the inhabitants. Uh, coral, mostly soft, leathers, uh, polyps, mushrooms, as well as the fish from the 300-gallon deep dimension system that I purchased. It was full of rock, coral, and fish. So I got a skimmer here temporarily and a bag of carbon. I'm using two gyre style 150 Jabajo pumps for flow, creating a whirlpool effect, a titanium heater hooked up to a temperature controller. And I'm using the light fixture I was using on my 75 gallon, which is now taken down. 4 bulb T5, 2 Orphic, all 36 inch. So there's some pretty big tangs in here. Um, a Naso, a Clown, a Sailfin. There's a bunch of Chromis, some Damsels, as well as a bunch of other fish I'm not too sure. There's some Mandarins, a uh, Flame Angel, Mangai Cardinals. So everything's going to spend a little time in here until the 300 is set up and ready for fish and coral. So here is the 300 deep dimension. It was very heavy. This will be its final resting place. The stand that came with the system was a 220 stand and expanded for a 300. I initially was going to try to kind of reskin it and use it. But after further thought, I'm just going to go ahead and build a stand from scratch. Uh, standard 2x4, 2x6 pine lumber and skinned with um, furniture grade plywood. So I'm not really too sure exactly the height I'm going to go on this. Uh, currently it is very tall. The top is almost 6 feet. I may come down a little bit. I'm also considering removing this corner overflow on the end of the peninsula and converting it to a closed loop to really uh, give this system the uh, peninsula effect that I enjoy so much of previous systems that I've had. Kitchen, well the whole house is kind of in disarray here. There was a lot of equipment that came with uh, the tank you know, breakdown. I've been cleaning it. You know, getting it ready for storage and then I can go ahead and tackle building this new stand should take me you know, a couple weeks after work so if anyone has any ideas and comments other than yes it is a marine land 300 deep dimension I know I've heard please don't be that guy or gal and leave the comment the glass is in excellent shape. It's hard to tell as it was dirty when I tore it down, but there's almost no scratches on it. And the silicone is in prime shape. I believe it's only about three years old. 
So I may uh, look into putting some armored seams in the corners. So this, there's no rush here on this system. Um, I'm kind of up for any ideas or suggestions on lighting, flow, skimmer, maybe even ideas on the stand. I'm kind of just brainstorming at the moment. That's where I'm at. Go ahead and show. Uh, here's the stand from the 75 I took down and the sump and tanker out back. The 40 Fusion had a slight issue when I did a water change and failed to plug in the return. It sat stagnant for almost two days. I was kind of out and about. It was a Friday and a Saturday. I did lose the C fan and a lot of the polyps were stressed, but everything is recovering. So I did lose the Gorgonian that I've been growing there for almost two years. So that was kind of upsetting. I still make mistakes just like anyone and just try to learn from them. So I just need to be more, you know, diligent about making sure, you know, everything is plugged in and turned on after doing maintenance. I was sort of in a rush. So the 75 is gone. There's still this uh, PVC pipe that had the auto water change left. I need to get rid of that, move the couch over. So anyone in the area, I'm in uh, South Florida, wants a 75. Uh, this is a mode aquarium. It is rimless. The stand's in pretty decent shape. Just needs a few hinges. I have a sump and all the plumbing. So that's where I'm at. I'm pretty busy. Um, I'm going to include some footage of the takedown of the 40 breeder as well as the move of the 300 gallon deep dimension. You know, if there's anyone in the area that is um, interested in some soft corals, I, you know, I'm gonna be looking to get rid of some of it, uh, mostly the polyps. I really do dig the leathers. This huge leather here is closed at the moment. I just fed and I think it gets stressed out when the fish bang into it. That's where I'm at. Uh, my goal here is just to kind of have one system, the 300 gallon deep dimension, and then I'll have it plumbed in this, into this fish room, which will have, you know, this frag system, and likely I'll have the sump in the corner over here so I don't have to access it underneath the main display in my living room. All right, Reefers, thanks for uh, following along here, and I'll see you next time. Finally, after three months of procrastination, I'm draining the 75. Water's going out the door here. I got all the electronics sprawled out. I moved a lot of the acro colonies into the 40. After three months of procrastinating, I'm starting to break down the 75 here. I moved some of the smaller acro colonies into the 40, as well as the A can, so it's pretty full. And some of the larger colonies and LPS into the frag system. So of course, uh, over the first night of filling up this horse trough, it leaked from the bulkhead. Uh, it's extremely over tightened now to prevent it from leaking makes me a little nervous it may crack or with added water being added it's going to change the you know curvature of the plastic and there's going to be another leaking issue because it didn't uh, occur initially it took some water pressure for it to start leaking so it leaked all over the floor and got my baseboards wet you can see the staining so i'm gonna have to rip those out some point in the future I made the mistake of installing composite baseboards at the recommendation of some Yahoo at the Homeless Desk Spot, also known as Home Depot. Go with wood. Don't listen to these people. I don't know why I listen. What are you going to do? So here we are. i got maybe 100 gallons in here. I've added a small amount of salt. 
because I did clean this container with vinegar thoroughly. I don't want to add straight RO that is reactive. It could possibly pull some sort of polymer or oils out of the plastic. So I've got some salt in there to make it less reactive. Uh, I'm going to fill it up and got some cheap uh, Instant Ocean ready to go. I my hand into a real pointy thing there, so I... Okay, so it's moving day. This is the challenge for the day. We're going to move the rock and fish. We've got containers draining, filling up. Wish us luck here. Well, we forgot a few things. We should have had extra buckets, but we're going to make do. A few rocks left in the fish. That's how we do it. Thank you. You're welcome. 